What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 26th tutorial in C++. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called logical operators. Now, let me go ahead and build a simple program right now. Say we were the owner of a nightclub and we wanted to calculate whether a person was allowed in or whether they weren't. So first we looked at their age and we're going to make sure it's, you know, over 21 because we don't want to get sued. And the next thing we're going to be looking at is how much money they have because we don't want to allow poor people into our, you know, five-star nightclub. So let's say they need more than $500. So let's go ahead and make this like person has $650. So we can test this like this. If age is greater than 21 and if money is greater than what I say, 500, um, where would I just hit insert? Where the heck's my insert key on this keyboard? This keyboard is really messed up now that I look about it. So that took me like five minutes to find the insert. It was actually by my uh, up and down arrows. That's weird. So anyways, now that we had our nice little break, we can go ahead and just write something like C out. Um, you are allowed in and make sure you sell it with a nine in you and make sure you spell in ion or else this program just won't work. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get we are allowed in because we indeed are greater than 21 and we have more than five hundred dollars so you're saying alright pretty cool program maybe I'll open up a nightclub now but check this out this can get kind of confusing after a while because this brace goes to this and this goes to this we're pretty easily distinguishable but what if we had five different tests that we need to check what if we had twenty different tests well one little mistake say we had this over here our programs still gonna run fine but it looks like this goes to this and this goes to main or something who knows where this one goes I mean putting a bunch of if statements inside other if statements is not always the best idea so we have a better way to test two or more things and that's through the use of something called logical operators and this allows you to make all your tests on a single line so here's what we can do in this case go ahead and make your if statement and then might as well make our C out right now like you are allowed in explanation point with end line and in our if statement go ahead and write your two tests like what do you put age is greater than 21 and whenever you join them you use this logical operator and 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 now go ahead and write money is greater than 500 now let's go ahead and run this and check it out same results a whole lot less programming so what and and means do this test and do this test if they're both true then run this bit of code and since they both were true it ran this bit of code if one of them was false say we only had you know four dollars like that well yeah this test is going to be true because we're greater than 21 but this is going to be false because four dollars is not greater than 500 and whenever we run it we are not allowed in check it out and also if both the tests are false like we're only two and oops wrong, wrong space for that say we're only two years old and we only have four dollars probably from the tooth fairy of course we are not going to be allowed in the club not cool but you know we're a two year old who needs to go clubbing when they're two anyways so basically a double and sign means this test all these tests and if they're both true then you can run this bit of code but if one of them is false or both of them is false then we don't run it simple enough huh and i say and with this test and this test but you can also have and and in another test and even and and in another test and it's just going to run all of your tests and make sure that they're all true so the only way this bit of code is going to run is if all your tests in this is true so if you're saying alright I understand that logical operator all the tests need to be true in order to run but what if you say this alright I'm uh, you know not the most professional nightclub owner so I'm gonna allow them in if only one of these tests is true if they're over 21 then they're allowed in of course or if they have over five hundred dollars I'm gonna let them allow them in because you know if a 20 year old walks in with like eight grand I know he's not 21 but I think we should let him in anyways so say we want to do that make sure only one of the tests is true what we do is use a logical operator called the or logical operator and that's 
if you see above the enter key on your keyboard and hold shift you get these two little things I call them pipes but I think some people call them pipelines tell you the truth I don't know what they're called um, it's like a straight line up and down as you can see but that's what, it, that's what it is and two of them in a row is the OR logical operator and what the OR logical operator says is this unlike the AND where this one and this one had to be true only one of them has to be true and the other one can be false and it still runs the bit of code so check this out we pass this test is true 26 is greater than 21 but we don't have more than five hundred dollars so this is going to be false so true and false so we run it and it allows us in even though one of these was false but if both of these were false say we were only six years old it wouldn't allow us in so anyways what you have to remember is this the and logical operator both the tests have to be true with the or logical operator one of the tests have to be true and another thing if both of the tests are true in an or it's gonna run your bit of code so let's say you were you know 64 and you had you know a crap load of money it would run and even though they're both true it would allow you in anyway so with the or this one or this one or both of them have to be true and with the an and this one and this one has to be true and of course you can add another or test and another or test and another or test and when you ran a program like this it's going to run through all of your tests and as long as one of them is true for example this one could be true and all these other ones could be false and it will still run this bit of code an or basically means look for at least one that's true and if it's true run the bit of code so now that I repeated that about 800 times you guys should understand the difference between an and and or logical operator and when you would want to use one versus the other I guess it depends on what kind of nightclub owner you want to be but for now that's all the club I'm going to do so thank you guys for watching this tutorial um, don't know what I'm going to cover in the next tutorial but if you click on the next link you can see so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then